rare books worth millions of dollars stolen from the Carnegie Library. Today, the men accused of stealing those books admitted their guilt. We were the first to tell you about their guilty pleas on our app. And new at 5, Channel 11's Erin Martin joins us live in Oakland with more details on these pleas and how the crime was pulled off. Erin? And Peggy, these aren't just books you would take from a library. In fact, I wanted to show you one, but in fact, they are in a special room that is locked 24 hours a day. That's what makes a lot of these crimes so brazen that they were stolen and taken to a local bookstore. And tonight, the two suspects are left wondering whether they will serve prison time for this. These are the two men now taking responsibility for millions of dollars worth of rare books and items stolen from the Carnegie Library in Oakland. Today in court, former chief archivist for the Oliver Room, Greg Priory, and Caliban Bookshop co-owner John Shulman pleaded guilty to stealing items for more than two decades. Investigators say the two men stole more than $8 million worth of books and rare materials, a total Shulman's attorney questions. We have always contended uh, that the number of books that the Commonwealth indicated were stolen was a number that uh, was inflated and that they could not prove nor were we involved in them. According to investigators, Priory would take those items from the rare book room right there from the Carnegie Library, walk down Forbes Avenue, up Craig Street, and go right to John Shulman's bookstore, where those items were eventually sold. One of the items not discovered until after the arrest is this 17th century Geneva Bible. Investigators believe the Bible was stolen from the library and sold in the 1990s, eventually making its way to a museum in the Netherlands in 2015. Once Priory and Shulman were charged, the museum's director realized what they had and contacted police, leading to the Bible's return to Pittsburgh. It's unclear how many items have been recovered, but the DA's office considers some a total loss. John has accepted responsibility, regrets that uh, such a tarnish has been occurred, and, and intends on moving on. Now, Priory's attorney and representatives with the library declined to comment after court. Those two suspects are going to be sentenced in April. Now, as for those items, there's a lot of them, well over 100 that were allegedly stolen that the district attorney's office is saying. That includes a journal from George Washington worth a quarter of a million dollars. You can see the full list of those items that were allegedly taken on a WPXI app. Reporting live tonight in Oakland, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.